and today is chest day. It's gonna be pretty fucking simple today. Get my chest sore as fuck. Super sore. So, let's get going. record this part because fucking didn't have my mic on so let me just reiterate what the fuck just happened so I was you know fucking I left the house around like 515 whatever got got to the plaza where the gym is right mother bugger okay cool whatever right and holy shit dude there's just too many fucking people here and you know like, I can't actually be, like, pissed just because it's fucking full. Because, you know, that means a lot of people are fucking trying to better themselves and go to the gym and be fit. You know what I'm saying? I can't be pissed at that. But what I am pissed at is fucking... There's too many goddamn people. And it's never been like that before. Maybe I'm privileged or whatever, but not once have I experienced... It being that bad. Fucking about 15 minutes I've been fucking driving around the fucking parking lot. Actual Gonda. <laughs> but today is fucking chest. It'll be semi quick. You know, I'll just keep hitting fucking heavy and yeah. You know, get a quick pump, hit the sauna for about fucking 20, 30 minutes, and then, you know, skedaddle. I got work tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, that kind of hurt my soul. <sighs> Fuck, that was some pressure right there. Creatine. You know, a lot of people ask me if I'm if I'm natty or not. I don't know what the fuck just dropped. My keys. Shit. My keys. You know, a lot of people fucking ask me how if I'm natty or not, right? I am. You know, never once taken anything. Insane. Like, I guess the most insane thing I've ever t taken is creatine. And, like, a lot of people in the industry argue if taking creatine is natural or not. I say it is. There's no reason to back it, but I just want to say that I can be all natural. Time natural, you know. I'm not that big. You know, I know a lot of... I know a lot of people my size, actually, got to my size taking, like, you know muscle enhancement stuff and I don't know I don't think it's worth it because they could have easily just put in the work as much work as I put in and got to the same place instead of just fucking I'm fucking this big now no also half this fucking parking lot is for this fucking buffet place I don't know what's so fucking good about it it looks pretty fancy on the inside it has like chandeliers and shit yeah but just don't understand it you know but uh just took all my shit, gonna drink my pre, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the fucking bench. Our warm-up fucking weight is probably gonna be two plates, just so I can get through it quick. But yeah, I'll see you guys inside. Uh, all right, fucking, we're at the bench. I'm about to put on two plates for a warm-up set. Forgot my wrist straps, so uh, we'll just run through it really quick. Make sure my wrists aren't fucking exhausted too badly where it causes injury. I mean, I've benched without wrist straps before, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's get to it. Quick little rotator cuff fucking warm up, but uh, let's change the fucking song. It's been 
seems too long as a new replacement. Y'all motherfuckers need to learn some patience. Nine to fives ain't allowed. That's a solution. Money come quick, even quicker when a gal. Money come quick, something burnt in your cell. No, you can't fit the how, cause you ain't in control. If you money, 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 and a pretty hot go. Money come quick, even quicker when a gal. Six, uh, seven. Seven, four, one. I'll try to hit seven again right now. Just give me a little bit. Let's do it with the thumb in this time. If not seven, I'm gonna try to do like three. Okay. I think I gotta slow down with that shit because uh, wrist them definitely start hurting. But uh, it feels pretty good. Seven and three. So let's just say ten for my first set. My warm up set. We're just gonna sit here for a little bit. What a nice guy. This dude, we just walked around the camera. Nobody has to walk around the camera. No, I don't give a fuck. The fact that people are kind of to be walk around the camera. I appreciate that shit. I mean, I'm the inconvenience to everybody right now. I'm recording. Some people could walk into the frame, even if they don't want to be. You know, even if they didn't know. It's just, I'm the inconvenience. But it is what it is. There's a lot of new people around here. Lots of new people. I might do five right now. Then probably put like a 10 on or something. Do like three. And then probably look for a squat, spot. Fuck. Look for a spot. Do 245 for five. And uh, yeah, with the spot. Just so I don't die. Even if I don't hit five, I'm, a, I'm going to hit five. My hands start slipping. My hands start getting sweaty. Start slipping. So I just racked it real quick. Reset myself. I'm thinking. I'm just do one or two of these. And then start resting so I can hit that five with as little help as possible. That wasn't that bad. That was a little easier than I thought. Ow. Easier than I thought it would be. I haven't benched in a while, at least when I'm off camera. I feel like benching is really good footage. I don't know, because it's so popular. Even though it doesn't, it's not the best workout for chest, because you're activating a lot of muscles in that area, but it's a compound lift, so of course it's gonna do that. Everybody's gonna think I pissed myself, God damn it! You guys wanna watch me fail? If I do fail, let's see if I even fail, huh? Those smelling salts are fucking trash now. Fuck. God damn it. I hit five. Minimum three. Okay. All right, that's all. Three. Three. Just three. Um, we'll move on to fucking dumbbell press. Incline. And maybe some shoulder press. Yeah. Oh. All right, this is about my third set. This current one is my third set. My first set, I did it with 30s. My second set, I did with Bs for 10. Um, I'm gonna hit one set of this, and I'll probably go up and wait. Because if I get hit it, hit it for 10 again, that means I need to go up. You know, it's not challenging enough. I mean, it might feel challenging on the 10th rep, but you know. 
that's just kind of wasting time, you know? So, uh, yeah. Let's get on with it. Let us get going. I might go up. I want to use one where I can only hit one. So, uh, yeah. Let's do that. was successful, six was not. Let's move on. Next workout. It is time for Dirty 30s. If you guys are new to them, basically what they are are 10 skull crushers, 10 presses, and 10 curves. Fucking skull crushers and fucking presses, barbell press. Feel it in my chest. Uh, I'm gonna move on to the cable tricep pull downs. I'm done with the free weights. Alright, let's go. Alright, cable tricep pull downs. I already did two sets. I'll just do a couple reps with the hold, with the pause. Kind of tire it out, and then I'm gonna move to the bar and do the tricep pull downs. That way I can really tire my triceps out. And then I think the last thing would be the tricep fucking push down machine thing. You know what I'm talking about? That one. See the dips, but I'll hit this first. And yeah.
sorry I'm not talking that fucking much. I don't really know what the fuck to talk about right now, but there's a whole lot of fucking people in here. Um, I'm gonna do one more. I don't know. Let's just do a max set, I guess. Or we'll do it to the point where I can't move my arms. I think that's good. Let's do that. Gotta rest a little bit, right? All fucking done. Let's move on. Some slight, just second set. Just gonna do a bunch of max sets, and then I think that'll be it. I might do some body weight dips, but it looks like they're both taken, so. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'm trying to go home. So, let's get this shit done. Let's do two more max sets. The weight's getting pretty light now, 125. So uh, yeah, let's just get through it and dip the fuck out of here. I think we're done here. Let's do a little physique check in the locker room. After the sauna, of course. But yeah, let's get to it. Everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Street.
on its fucking chest day. But short video, but you know, gotta do what I gotta do, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I don't want that. Um, I don't know. I feel like the shorter the videos, the more I can pump out, you know? Because it takes so little time to fucking edit, takes so little time to fucking film. It's easier to edit, it's easier to fucking film. So I think it's super beneficial. I know it seems kind of weird that fucking I kind of just jump around trying different fucking things, but I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what schema maneuver to go with, you know, which works best with me, which works best with you guys, which one you guys prefer more. Would you guys like shorter videos with like kind of like less edits, I guess? but try to post more often with short videos? Or would you guys like longer videos around 30 minutes to 45 minutes, but like closer to once or twice a week? It, it, it all really depends. But I'm just trying out different fucking things, so bear with me. I know it's kind of flip-flopping and shit, and sometimes fucking I forget to record, but you know, or it's not even forget to record, it's I forget to prepare the things I need to record. Sometimes my batteries are all fucking dead. Sometimes the light is fucking dead. Sometimes the mics are fucking dead. And I really needed to go to the gym at that time, so maybe I just didn't record it. You know? But like, you know, I'm thinking I should go get a fucking shotgun mic again. I lost my other shotgun mic. Which was $120 fucking dollars. I'm not gonna lie. But left that shit somewhere might be at my house actually but i'm thinking about getting that shit back because one it doesn't need to get charged and two if i forget if i forget to charge or if i forget these one day you know i could just fucking pop that bitch on and fucking do it exactly how i did it before my very first couple videos was with the fucking shotgun mics and those videos weren't that bad you know i just didn't talk at all in the gym it was just an edit but you know i'm already flip-flopping fucking video style so it's not that big a fucking deal right so chest day complete next one will be back well it was chest and tries right let's not mix that up because that last video i said it was a back day but it was really a fucking leg day i was fucking flabbergasted and shit but yeah chest and tries today and then the next video would be back and buys for sure um yeah get this turn i stayed in the so there's a steam room and there's a sauna but they're both hot as shit so like i think the steam room goes up to 130 degrees and i think the fucking sauna actually goes up to 160 180 somewhere pretty high right but i feel like the steam room is just so much hotter because like the steam it just fucking blows on you and fucking everybody's moving and you know like that because like you guys i don't know if you guys have like surfed or whatever and you guys wear a wetsuit right if you if you're kind of still you don't really feel the flow of water going into the wetsuit because you know there's not much water going through and shit and when you do move, you feel the flow of water and then it's like kind of chilly, kind of cold. It's like that, but opposite. So like in the steam room, I'm kind of just fucking post it up. And then if I want it to be hotter, I just start moving around and then I'm like getting as much heat on the surface of my skin. So yeah, that's kind of my, I don't know, my put on it. I'm just fucking retarded right now, <laughs> but yeah and i might start fucking going into i might start creating fucking some courses i really want to create a fucking lean bulk to gain like lean muscle and shit because that's what i did for six months and it was insanely efficient and the only things i took was fucking pre-workout that's literally the only thing i fucking took and a fuck ton of water i drank a lot of water over those six months in Australia, I went I went to the gym five times, no, six times, six times and like maybe seven times if I was bored. 
but I would do that six to seven times a week and once once a week for doing jujitsu but that's basically cardio right I'll I could probably find an equivalent to give you guys unless you guys do do fucking jujitsu just if I can go to jujitsu class but yeah that was pretty fucking simple you know yeah yeah I really want to bring out a fucking course on lean muscle because I feel like so like over the course ever since I've been back from Australia a bunch of dudes have been asking how did a, how the fuck did I get so big did I bulk at all and I was like I didn't really bulk I kind of just ate the same um, I just worked out a little bit more less less cardio actually I did a lot less cardio which is kind of surprising because the more you do cardio the more your body starts like trying to balance your metabolism so like if your metabolism starts going slower you can retain more like protein and the fats the good fats and shit so like then you would start gaining weight and stuff cardio is super important i guess i kind of just did jujitsu for that shit i don't know it's complicated okay i'd have to explain it in kind of like long form in like a course or something but i'm not thinking about charging like a fuck ton i understand like most of you guys are like around my age, around low 20s, high teens. I'm assuming you guys relate to me a little bit. That's why you guys watch me, right? So maybe give some advice at that, at that fucking, on that topic. I think it'll be super useful. Just fucking, there's, you guys could probably, yeah, I'll, I'll post something on my fucking Instagram story when this video drops. If you guys want a fucking, on what topics the course should be on. That'll be that'll be the fucking question on my Instagram story. That'll be good. Um, yeah, I mean, that should be it for the video. There's nothing else I gotta talk about, honestly. Uh, yeah. There's gonna be, I'll probably record some extra, extra videos just to do lackups, but they won't be edited. Actually, Actually, they'll probably be edited, but I'm gonna have I'm gonna try to get somebody a video editor to fucking edit that video and just like post it out and see how well it does. And if that works out, you know, and I start seeing the fucking likes and all the stats go up, right? Maybe I'll fucking start hiring a fucking video editor because one, it saves more time, and I could just fucking cord like a fuck ton and then just fucking. Send it to him. Hey, yo, fucking edit this one. Edit these fucking videos. Or like, yeah, edit these fucking videos. Hey, can you make shorts of these? Or can you make reels of these? Figure out how to, a, a way to fucking bring more attention to my YouTube. Just stuff like that. It's, I realize a lot of these YouTubers, like Alex Eubank and fucking, I don't fucking know what to do with the mustache. Max something. Shizzy. Who else? Those, you know, those big fucking dudes. The the dudes that are like the kings of fucking bodybuilding right now. The the YouTube bodybuilders, builders, right? The guys that are the kings, the the ones that are on top. They have a fucking team. And I feel like they didn't really start off where I started off. I gotta I gotta watch their old videos, but I have a feeling that, you know, they didn't really start off small you know they kind of started off with a, a good budget where they could just fucking hire some somebody like an editor and hire somebody to manage your shit and then you know all right fucking camera battery fucking died so uh i don't know where i fucking where it died at but i'm gonna just end the video right here yeah so sorry about that well, I'll, I'll check it out later. Maybe maybe I'll I'll input some of you guys. In, give you guys some input what, what you guys missed out, what I talked about. But basically, towards the end, I was just like talking about schema maneuver for my YouTube. 
like hiring a video editor and shit, talking about different YouTubers and what they do. And yeah, that's basically all. Right? That's that's a short form of it, you know. And I also talked about um, dropping a course. I gotta figure out what topics you guys want, cause I have some topics prepared, but you know there there has to be fucking a time for it. There there has to be a need for it before you know things actually start popping off. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video right here. I'll see you guys fucking on back and buys and probably shoulders too and forearms. Yeah, it might be a long video the next one, but. Yep, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing.